We kept the canoe on course. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, leaders must accept that there is no end to church and must plan for their own departure. As soon as one has achieved one's transformation objectives, as soon as you have made your vision a reality, the process starts all over again. In a world in which change is accelerating, in which change is fundamental and unpredictable, there is no respite or time to rest on one's laurels and say, well, we've done well, now we can sit back and relax. One of the most difficult decisions for any leader is to accept that he or she too will one day be swept away by the unrelenting river of time. The wise leader will know when to leave and when to pass the baton to a new generation. To sum up, our experience in managing the transformation of South Africa has identified the following leadership requirements. Relentless self-examination. Acceptance of the need for real church. The communication of a clear and attainable vision. Willingness to take calculated risks a sense of timing, the need to persevere, and acceptance that change is a never-ending process. Leadership, I say to all the young students, is a tough business. Whatever you do, you will be subjected to bitter criticism by one faction or the other. Leaders are confronted with the ever-present prospect of failure, of taking the wrong decision, of seeing their careers end in tatters and ignominy. Leadership is not for sisters. But the rewards of success make it all worthwhile. By December 1993, we had achieved all the goals that I had articulated when I started the transformation process. We had adopted a non-racial constitution. We had prepared the way for our first ever universal democratic elections. And after centuries of conflict and division, we had laid the foundations for a new, peaceful, non-racial nation. Ironically, my greatest achievement as a leader may well be viewed by future historians as my willingness to surrender leadership. I did so on the 10th of May 1994, when President Mandela was inaugurated. Few leaders, I can look you in the eye and say, have ever laid down the responsibilities of office with a greater sense of accomplishment than I did on that day. Thank you very much.